This video is very much about the design process and I want you to see the way I put things together. Well first of all as I've said previously make sure all of your components everything you're working with are within sight and placed around your working area. Well of course I've taken all of our original designs those logos we did in our our first lessons and I've got them ready here so I'll place them on and they blend very nicely with these colors we've chosen now this text I'll make it white in color so we can see but the customer has asked that these things be placed on the banner so I'm just placing them on the banner to start somewhere I think it's very important that we always work and I've said this to you before only with two typefaces and really we already have those two the hair ache hair stuff was uh, utilizes aerial round and of course Ruark let is what we used for the uh, lettering so extraordinary hair I'll make that rounded aerial round and hair ache and the names of their different hair dyes I'll make that Ruark let all right well that's my point of starting so what can we do well, I'm going to stretch the word extraordinary hair out all the way across there like that and let's make that transparent in color so we'll come over here and transparent it's not really a color is it but however we're making it transparent now that's not too bad but if we change the uh, operation to add you can see how it allows the colors behind to come through lower the transparency or I should say increase the transparency and that looks quite nice. We might just sit that there like that for the moment and see where we arrive. Now I'm going to zoom in on the text hair ache that we've got here. Now this is a, a, a very easy thing to do that I'm going to do here and really worthwhile applying to some of your designs. Select the shape tool and when you have text selected each character will have a node. Well that means you can move each character around. So we're going to just simply mess this up a little bit because I kind of have the feeling that that's the way this hair company should look. Everything being just that little bit messed up. Pop that up there. Now I can change the point size as well. Simply select that character and come up here and we'll type in say 60 points. That's better. Hair, do the same. Type in 60. All right, so that looks a little bit more all over the place, doesn't it? And I think I prefer that particular look. Okay, well, Control C, copy to the clipboard, and I think I'll shrink that down a little. Again, I'm going to make this transparent, uniform, and let's just try an alternate one, difference. And this is what I do. I go through and I try various operations and see what things look like and I don't mind that. In fact, you know what, let's go to add, uh, subtract, what if we change the color, that's interesting. I like that because when I paste back down the original text, that's better. It sort of looks like a distant shadow to some degree, doesn't it? Let's make it a little bit smaller. It's not meant to be a shadow, it's kind of that that techy kind of shadow design. Alright, F4 zoom back out. That's looking good. Uh, let's do something creative with this text over here. So I'll zoom in and I know what, exactly what I'm going to do. Increase the size a little. Alright, Control C, copy to the clipboard and then I'm going to make this an orange color. Okay, straight up to bitmaps, convert to bitmap, 300 dpi. It's very important we have a transparent background and anti-aliasing, click OK and bitmaps down to blur and motion blur. We've used this before. Make sure the arrow is pointing in that horizontal direction. Click OK. Now watch this. Control V, paste the white text down on top. Isn't that a cool looking look? I like that. Group that in fact, you know what we'll do is we'll crop what's underneath first of all. Just there like that. Double click and then we'll group those together and group and for something different I'll move this over here 
and uh, skew down a little and maybe skew back a little yeah that looks good okay F4 zoom back out I'm going to take this hair ache and remember we put it on the business card in the corner copy here and do the exact same thing and rotate place that in the corner there like that and again transparent uniform and we'll go with add and what do you think how cool does that look pop that back over there a bit make it a little bit bigger and right click and drag copy here and I might just flip that up the other way finger on the control key make it a little smaller and maybe change the color to yellow and I'm, th I'm starting to think that looks great I'm wondering whether the HAH could be slightly different in color so I'll select finger on control and I'll select that H and maybe make it a brighter orange finger on control and we might make that white in color what do you think of that the other thing we could do if I ungroup is go up to effect and we could clear the bevel effect we applied and in fact I do actually think I prefer that it sort of makes it that little bit bolder the extraordinary hair that looks great look I'm very happy with that I would possibly play with this a little bit more over time but as a basic design and a great place of ending I think that's where I'll leave it so in our next video we're going to convert this to a bitmap and you'll notice a lot of the color will be lost and we'll try to compensate with some color correction